It seems that Israel is a good incubator for the terrorist groups who are fighting for a regime changing in Syria. These groups are present here between these valleys under the control of the Israeli army. The topography of the occupied Syrian Golan is contributing to this communication, especially the areas near the ceasefire line, which have become a safe passage for the armed gangs. Zionist enemy practice the ugliest kind of sabotage on the ground through the support of the mercenaries and groups that destroy Syria. Israel provides these terrorist groups with money and weapons and gives them treatment at the field hospital which are raised here in the Golan. Here we see the village of Bethel Khashab, one of the centers of the terrorists in the Golan. Tens of meters keep them away from the Israeli army sites. Observers say it seems that the agreement in the goals and visions for destruction of Syria had a major role in perpetuating this partnership between Israel and these armed gangs. Sometimes they have the moral support of the Israeli leaders and sometimes they get the military support of the Israeli army. We in the occupied Golan are hearing explosions every day and the fire between the Syrian army and the armed gangs backed by Israel and Western countries. Israel is the sole beneficiary of this crisis. Questions remain about the disappearing of the United Nations forces in the region. Is the Syrian crisis inviting them to leave their positions, specifically in the Golan, or they are aware of the identity of these groups and their whereabouts in the ceasefire line and the possibility of providing support to them by Israel in the absence of any international supervision? Here behind me in this village are armed gangs who are receiving medical and logistical support from the Israeli military. The insurgents are using this outpost in the occupied Golan Heights as a launchpad for their operations. Hamla Widat for Press TV, the occupied Golan Heights.